New tonight, we're hearing from Congresswoman Sheila Jackson Lee hours after she was arrested, along with several others, during a march for voting rights in our nation's capital. We were handcuffed. We uh, went into the paddy wagon. We were booked. Um, we were placed in a jail cell. Tonight, the Congresswoman from Houston talks about her decisions that led to today's arrest and what's next for those Democrats who continue to fight against a voting reform bill here in Texas. Our Jonathan Martinez is live tonight with that story. Jonathan? Yeah, guys, and these are some of the images that the Congresswoman is posting on her social media accounts. Of course, they are making the rounds following her arrest in D.C. We spoke to her just a short time ago about that very arrest. I engaged in civil disobedience today in front of the Hart Building in Washington, D.C., and I was arrested. This is video Congresswoman Sheila Jackson Lee posted to social media after her arrest Thursday afternoon following a protest in Washington, D.C. And this is a video of that arrest as a congresswoman was led away by police. She spoke to us by phone just hours later. We did civilly disobey, uh, and we knew that the police officers uh, had to do their job. But we were blocking the door that we intended to do, to block the doors of the United States Senate. The congresswoman saying the point of the protest in March to fight for the expansion of voting rights. We marched uh, and prayed uh, and decided to civilly disobey in order to indicate by protest and being arrested that this was a crucial issue. Because, frankly, voting is a fundamental right. The congresswoman says she was in custody for about three hours after being processed and booked and a mugshot was taken. She posted bail of less than $100 and later released. The time that we spent in jail, being handcuffed, and it's not pretty. It hurts. Uh, but the women did it because we believed in what we were doing. And the congresswoman tells us she has been arrested once before, before protesting, that is, that happened outside of the Sudanese embassy while protesting genocide. Tonight, she tells us she is willing to be arrested again. We are reporting live tonight from Missouri City. I'm Jonathan Martinez, KPRC 2 News. Thank you, Jonathan.